Uh, what's up guys? Welcome to Projects with Pops. Um, right here, we're gonna be going over a classic Bronco uh, driver's side fender and how to build it. Um, hopefully this, got, this helps you guys. I didn't find a lot online kind of how to do this. I know MS Motorsports does have a 44 minute video, I believe, on them putting the whole body together, but uh, I'm gonna go a little more in depth. So I hope you like it, enjoy. So right here what I'm doing is I'm just making sure everything fits. This is my rough fit. I'm using these C-clamps and I'm just making sure that the lines on the back line up. So from this, I recommend getting a, a bunch of different sizes for the C-clamps. Um, they help a ton. And then from there, I'm just gonna tack screw two screws in to make sure that the lines are good. Um, I also use vice grips to hold down the bottom on that two by four. i to show you guys what I'm doing. So right here, I just put two tack screws in, drilled holes. That's all gonna be spot welded anyways. But if you look on this side, it looks pretty damn good. So I'm happy with that. All right, just some more. Keep doing it all the way up. This is what I'm building right now. So uh, as of now, I'm gonna kind of show you what I've been doing. So it's pretty tricky, the hardest part being this back corner. So right here, this is where I uh, was just testing my spot welder. So as you can see, it's not that good. I had to cut it down a little bit and redo them. Uh, I wasn't at the right temperature. So then, so you can see there's a little slot here and that's where, let's see if I can find it. This right here, which is for the tailgate, slides in, okay? So, sorry, I had that upside down. So this right here is the tailgate and this will slide in just like that, okay? And then that's this right here, it's upside down. So. One thing I'm doing is I'm building this. I got a piece of two by four steel. That way I know the whole top is all in line. And as if you can see down the side, I have a pretty good, I mean, it looks, I'm happy with that. So you got the whole bottom, it's coming along right there. And I was a little nervous about this, but no matter what, you're gonna have that little notch stick out, and then you're gonna try to get that line um, this was tough for me. I had to do a lot of finicking to get this pretty close to what I wanted. Okay. So then, obviously up here at the top, I'm going to have to do a little manipulation. Um, and then right here, this is the inner right here. The inner, and I just welded those. And that's where my spot welder is looking really good. And uh, I'm happy with that. I just started to do that on the inside. And uh, then coming on to the other side, let's set this down. Coming on to the other side, you have this little bracket right here, which is for that uh, B post where the, uh, the locking mechanism is for the door. Well, what happens is right here, if you can see, this, this pillar right here, will go and you're just gonna spot weld it onto there. Okay, and obviously it fits in in between here. Uh, one thing right here, see this? This is gonna overlap a little bit. There's just nothing you could do. But you see these ears right here? I had to cut those. So what you do is you grind these ears down a little bit and uh, like I said, if you grind these ears down a little bit, then that won't get in the way. It's just a bad design they have right here. It's not perfect. So you grind these ears down and it should fit pretty good. So that one's fitting snug. Um, the other thing I have to do is put that on 
as well as this is the left side, so it should have the fuel tank. So I got to put the fuel tank covers on as well. So um, just showing you kind of where I'm at right now. Um, if you have any questions, this would, this took me about four hours last night just fiddling with it, trying to get everything all perfectly in line, and I'm happy with it so far. So a lot of clamps and a lot of uh, tweaking, especially this back corner. Um, my recommendation from what I did is I kind of clamped the bottom and clamped it down flat against the 2x4. And then you got to twist and tweak and all sorts. And I started from the bottom, making sure that that bottom is all level and in line. As you can see, and I used a, uh, right here, used a straight iron just to make sure that that's all flat, as well as here. So I'm happy with what I got. And the main thing is right here. To me, that looks, that looks golden. So as long as these match up, um, I'm happy with that. Once again, this is the do it yourself. So um, I've been using that. I know MS Sports, Motorsports, I believe, has a video on them building it. It's just not as in depth as I would have liked for a beginner. But uh, if you guys have questions, I'm doing it right now. And, uh, you know, let me know. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. We have a little problem right here. If you see where this is supposed to be right there. Once I weld it there, this will not be able to move. So I'm gonna have to shave this part, the top part, right there, so that this thing can move. It's just a bad design. So I'm gonna get on that. So right here, I've fit the B pillar. Everything's good to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and weld all of that. One thing I did, as you see on the screen, is I took a level as well as a 90 degree. And I made sure that the fender was level up and down as well as side to side so that the door shuts properly. So now moving over, I'm cutting my spot weld holes um, for my inner tailgate brace. So what that does is I'm making sure that the welds won't be sh seen from the outside or interior, so I cut those. Next, I'm grinding down the old spot welds that I had on the fenders. So I'm grinding those down because what happens is this inner support slides in there. So I didn't want to have anything that's in the way. this on kind of doing the fit right now Let's see. it's pretty good though right here this goes like this pretty sure and then the other sides go on so that's the next step so I'll see how that goes and we'll go from there. Should be good though. And then come around here. It's starting to look like a car. I'm happy how that turned out. Going in the front, I just put these bolts in just to make sure it's all level and even and whatnot. So, but I mean, down the side, it looks good. I gotta uh, grind all these, but uh, it's coming along. All right, guys, here we have a little uh, tip and trick for when you're putting these on. Um, this is the passenger side. Uh, rear fender so if you see right here when I first installed them I pushed this all the way up against here thinking that they were made like that um, there was a little gap though so what we did this time instead of doing that is we put the rear pieces so they fit like this and then we pinched it into place of where it goes so that way when you guys put it in
all you'll have to do is just slide this in and weld it together. So this is, this is fitting good. As well as the front, we have this piece that fits in there. So that'll fit good like that. Once again, we're doing it upside down. So this is the tailgate. This is <clears throat> the rear side. It comes with these little, uh, I don't even know what they're called, extensions. But if you look on the inside, same thing here. If we want that to fit correctly, this isn't right up against it. So it's a little tip and trick. And then of course we marked it. We're gonna go ahead and weld these uh, into place. And the main thing you guys wanna do is if you see here, this line, you wanna make sure that this line is perfectly straight. So start with that, and then put these pieces in um, to get your, your outside parts. All right. All right, guys. So the next step I'm doing right here is I'm trying to get these to be level. As you can see, they aren't perfect. So what I'm going to do is try to get these as perfectly level as possible. That way, you know, once I weld them down, they look good. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just using this level, um, as well as a bunch of clamps on the back. Um, other than that, you know, it's just eye to eye of how you want it, how it looks. So I'm going to try to get these level. I might be a little like an eighth of an inch high here, but that's fine. As long as it all kind of looks pretty good. Secondly, I'm going to show you guys over here. This is where you're going to go ahead and weld that. So I'm doing it upside down. Um, and then right here, obviously, if you see these, I'm going to have to put these in place. Um, I'm not sure exactly if they go in, but that is what I'm gonna do. Obviously right here, you want it probably as far in as you can. And this lip is just natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start on that. Here we go. All right, guys, so what I did here is I marked this through here. So this is where I'm going to do my drilling for the spot welds. And then same here. As you can see, I just marked it. That way I can uh, I have a spot for my drill to go through. So I'm going to get on that. So here I'm just drilling the holes. Make sure you guys have a big enough bit that you can get a good spot weld with. Um, early on, I had to change my bits. So it seems to work with this one. All right, guys. So this is what I got here. I just did one up here just to hold that flap. Um, I could do two. Might be a little overboard, but I did uh, more right on the edges. That's kind of what I was more worried about, especially down here, because you got to clamp these down. These aren't these aren't perfect as these. So, all right. On to the next side. All right, so right here I've drilled the holes for the, the welds. These holes I messed up. Don't worry about those, those are not, I gotta fill those. But these holes are the ones that I do need, okay? All right, let's see how this goes. So now I have it set up, ready for me to weld. So right here, I'm just gonna do my spot welds. Uh, anytime that you're trying to weld, you wanna skip a little bit because it could heat up and warp the metal. So I'm kind of skipping, going side to side, and then uh, cleaning them up when I go back. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I just did all my welds, as you can see, and then uh, I'm, I went ahead and grinded all of them, and now I'm just using this different bit, it just kind of smooths it out a little better, uh, before I put primer over, because I do want to put primer over this before, uh, you know, before I move on, and it's hard to get, so right now it's open, I can get all this, so that's what I'm doing.
So now I kind of, that's what I got. Uh, what I did here was I accidentally drilled holes in the wrong spot. It's my mistake. Uh, I thought it went on the other way, but obviously I was wrong. So I just welded these up. As you can see, they look pretty good. I'm gonna put a primer over them. Um, yeah, other than that, I got the inside as well. That's all ready to be uh, primered. And uh, we should be good with this side. All right guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that this is in the correct spot. Um, what I did is I <clears throat> got this whole wheel well right here and I put it up, okay? So I put it up here. I made some straps, making sure it was level. And uh, I made sure that it was level this way, okay? From there. From there, I clamped here as well as here. And what that did is that gave me the correct spot here so I can weld this. That way when I put this on, this can go right up next to it. Um, I'm only gonna do two right here just cause it's tough to get the uh, welder back in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and weld this because I know it's in the correct spot now. And then uh, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, weld the other side, all right? Hey guys, so got the first side in. As you can see, this is all finished. Um, it's a pretty nice line right there. Looks pretty good. The top is level, as you can see. Um, you got this. I just have some clamps, and then this is holding it level. But right down the side, looks pretty good. I mean, for me, that, uh, that turned out well. Just how it looks in the back, because you want that line. And then uh, the whole thing looks good. I just have it clamped right here too. It's a little, it's got to come a little outwards. Um, just this top part, it's got to come outwards a little bit. And then obviously right here, I'm not done. Because it was, uh, I was working on it upside down. But here's this. Obviously this is um, going to get clamped welded down and as you can see I just kind of put the floorboard a little tweak in here I'm just gonna have to uh, I mean this I just moved it a little bit looks good so obviously we're gonna have to tweak that I just have it kind of sitting in place but so hey this is the whole uh, left side rear um, original uncut and uh, you know we got Got a lot done. So uh, any questions, measurements, anything like that, feel free. Um, once again, this is kind of what it's looking like at the end. A lot of work, but, uh, you know, it's looking good for me. So, all right. Thanks, guys.